Well, for the second year, stern wheeler replicas have completed their paddle down the Old Man River. The trek from Lethbridge to Medicine Hat commemorates the old coal shipping days. And as Franca Catoni reports, the three-day adventure will become a yearly one. This looks like a picture out of a history book, but it's a scene of the second annual Galt Sternwheeler reenactment from Lethbridge to Medicine Hat. The paddle wheels were set in motion early Saturday morning for a three-day adventure down the Old Man River. Well, the history of the event, of course, was to originally to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the original coal boats, and uh, we did this last year. We originally weren't even planning to... Um, I didn't, I, when I first came up with the concept, I didn't realize people were actually going to build sternwheelers. I thought they were going to just build rafts and have something that would represent a sternwheeler. However, Haig points out the people involved actually wanted to build a sternwheeler, and the boats kept getting bigger and better. Haig says a sternwheeler event is unique to Lethbridge and Medicine Hat and shows a tremendous amount of history and public interest. I think it makes them uh, more aware of the uh, history of the area. I think uh, probably when we started last year there was a very hard, large percentage of the public didn't realize the river here actually does end up in Medicine Hat. So they learned a little bit of geography um, and I think it, uh, it's one way to sort of get ex excited about history and uh, take it out of the uh, areas where it's just a sort of a dull old boring stuff maybe you remember from school. The only area of competition in this year's Stern Wheeler reenactment was the largest boat to complete the trip. The winner of the event was the Ruby Queen II from Nobleford. Next year, the Historic Trail Society will develop part two of the story, so the Stern Wheelers will arrive at Batoche, the headquarters of Louis Riel. Franca Catoni, News First. And that's the news for this evening. With the weather next, here's Dan Jumay. Tomorrow is going to be a nice day for cruising down the river. It's going to be just like today was. Tradition to celebrate the Lethbridge Centennial, a trip down the South Saskatchewan to Batoche, a voyage well over a thousand kilometers. Shale Galfand reports. Details of the plan were announced at a morning news conference by organizer Bruce Haig. In late April, the Sternwheelers will travel the South Saskatchewan to Batoche, site of the Riel Rebellion. Well, we're trying to tie in um, two historical figures of Western Canada, major ones. One is Sir Alexander Galt, the founder of Lethbridge, uh, first industrialist and developer of Western Canada, with Louis Riel, who is the opposite, the first conservationist separatist. And uh, both of these are outstanding Western Canadian figures, and uh, we felt this was an opportunity, being the centennial of Lethbridge and the centennial of the Riel Rebellion, to tie those two figures together. The Trail Society is trying to get as many stern wheelers as possible to make the two-week trip. Anyone interested is invited to participate. To raise money, a special letter campaign has been started. For $2.50 postage, your letter will be taken by Sternwheeler and mailed from Batoche. The envelopes are available throughout the city. Shale Galfand, ZFCN News. And that's a look at our local news. Ian... Okay, first of all, let's talk about the Sternwheelers. We uh, have had the second annual. Mm -hmm. How was the race this year? I think it was very good, considering it was a very windy weekend, and uh, I wondered what was going to happen, but they made... And a very dry year, too. Not much right. water in the river. Well, there was up until about two weeks before it happened. It didn't look like there was going to be any water, but uh, they, they had more water this year than they had last year. Really. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's good. So next year is the year when you're going to have a, a really particularly special sternwheeler. Right. The, the, they now have their own sternwheeler organization, the Galt Society. Um, I'm more interested in the historical aspects, so the Historic Trail Society is sponsoring the, the final stage of the great Sternwheeler story, and this is when mm -hmm. they were uh, taken over by the Canadian government and used to transport uh, troops and supplies uh, to Batoche, which was the head of the... Okay, let's just backtrack just a little. Tell us about the, the, the role that the Sternwheelers played in, in our history. Well, originally, of course, they were built to carry the coal from, from here, the Galt Mine to the railhead at Medicine Hat, which is the closest area that the CPR got to Lethbridge on the main line. And uh, that didn't work out very well because of the w changing water conditions. And after the second season... Mm -hmm. What uh, do you mean by... You mean each season well, there would be a... Well, there would be about six weeks at the most uh, that, uh, where the river was usable for hauling these barges mm -hmm. down to Medicine Hat. It doesn't give you much time, does didn't, it? didn't uh, give them much time at all. And, uh, but uh, after, by spring of 85, 
uh, the, they were all building a narrow gauge railway and uh, the boats were just sort of sitting around Medicine Hat starting to rot when the real rebellion broke out and they were taken over by the Canadian government and used as troop ships. Okay. Where did they take the troops to? Well, they, they went all over the Saskatchewan River system. Uh, they started at Medicine Hat and uh, went up past Saskatoon to Batoche and then later on after that battle was over they, they got on the north Saskatchewan and uh, some of them went all the way to Edmonton and uh, when the rebellion was over they went the other way and they carried the troops to Lake Winnipeg. Uh, so they were on the whole system. Well, well. All right. They, uh, they tell us about them going to Patosh. Now, maybe we should just get to this letter. I wasn't going to do that until a little later on, but this ties in very nicely right now. Mm -hmm. The idea of this letter. Well, first of all, um, we're trying to get as many boats as we can involved in this project and there's quite a quite an expense to build a boat and and take two weeks off and uh, sail away I and uh, so we want to have some money to, to try and pay for the gas of the people that get involved in this and um, we thought an interesting way of doing this would be to actually offer to carry mail uh, as sternwheelers did in olden days and uh, so we've put together these envelopes uh, which are available at uh, Sears and Simpsons, or I guess it's Sears and Eaton's and Stubbs and Woodward's. And um, they're 250. People can take them home and uh, write a letter to themselves or to Aunt Nell or to Uncle Charlie or whoever they want. And um, then take the letter back to the, the depot where they picked it up or any of the other stores. And they'll, we'll pick them up at those places. And then uh, we will take them and actually stamp them with a sternwheel uh, logo which says that the this envelope was actually carried by sternwheeler and uh, we will load them onto the uh, boats on the 28th of april and uh, they will go hopefully completely high and dry all the way to batosh and arrive on the 100th anniversary of the original battle at which time they will be mailed and wh what's the date of that that's um, may 12th 19 or 1885. So that's about three weeks you... No, it'll be two weeks. Uh, oh, just the we, two weeks. We've uh, budgeted two weeks for this little uh, trek. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, from there they'll go through the, re the regular postal system and uh, we're trying to get the post office uh, to come up with a, a cancellation stamp for this particular centennial date because we think it's an historical date that's important to Canada's past. Yes, I should say. So this will, will be a, a good fundraiser then for your... We're hoping it will be. Mm -hmm. uh, we're hoping that we get uh, interests from all over Canada and, and the United States and that these letters will go all over the world. Now, we are paying for the actual stamp that uh, will go on there. Uh, so the you deduct for the cost of the stamp from the 250 and the they, rest will be pretty well... They, they paid, yeah, that's right, uh, although we're going to try and get organizations uh, to um, maybe raise money for them, their own organization and we will pay them a little bit for the, any organization Good. wants to do Okay, that. we're going to have to take a break for commercial, Bruce, but we'll come back and we'll talk a bit more about this and a bit more about your plans for next year. Sure. So please stay with us. Now, Bruce, you would like people to purchase this, write a letter to whomever, and send it off, and you'll be responsible for getting it in the mail with the proper postage. Right. That's okay. Right. Now, you have some letters going already to places in, in other parts of the world. Right. We've got one here going to the Punjab in India, and uh, we've got one to Sydney, Australia. And uh, we have a number going to Lethbridge, one to Saskatoon already, and uh, one up to Flin Flon. Uh -huh. And uh, we hope in a few more months the thing will be blanketed with red buttons. With red pins. <laughs> I should hope so, yes. Be well, it's a lovely souvenir for any of your relatives uh, mm -hmm. to have of our centennial. Mm -hmm. You could also use it as an invitation to invite friends and relatives back for well, the, the homecoming week or right. any other part of the year where there are special events. So lots of, uh, lots of use for something like this. Right. Now, you were saying that if an organization, for instance, uh, a handicapped organization, mm -hmm. would want to sell these, you would give them how much? Fifty cents, so that if the Boy Scouts or any particular group wants to use them as their own fundraising, uh, we'll give them 50 cents for each envelope that uh, they're able to distribute. Okay. If they were interested, who would they get in touch They can call me 
and my number's in the phone book. Um, it's 328-3824 if you don't want to look it up. Okay, <laughs> great. And you can, can get them a number of these. How many have you got printed? We have 500 printed at the present time, but uh, we can get them printed to more than within a day or so. You mm -hmm. know. Hopefully you're going to need a lot more than that. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. So that'll be interesting. I hope that, that you're... What's the, the contingency plan? Should your boats run aground or something happens? Oh, we hope that a uh, few of them are going to run aground. Uh, that's the history of the sternwheeler. Uh -huh. uh, all that we need is one of them to get through. Just that's one. You can, <laughs> there'll be such that you can take it all on one. We'll, we'll arrange to get them there. Uh -huh. that, uh, but no way. stagecoach or anything? Well, we may have to use stagecoach to get them to the place where the water is deep enough to get started, which we think will be north of Grassy Lake. So oh, we may do the stagecoach mm -hmm. bit first. Yeah, that's exciting. Yep. Yeah, that's something really look forward to for next year. Okay, now, while you're here, I'm going to make good use of you. As you know, today is the day we make the draw for the three people who are going to win our prize for this month's whatchamacallit. And I will just take another quick look at it. And to be perfectly honest, I'm going to be glad to return this to the, to the museum simply because it's breakable and I just have a fit that every time I pick it up, it might fall. But it is a fire extinguisher. It's a bomb that you drop, glass splinters everywhere, but the fire goes out. And many people have told me they've had this beside the coal stoves in their houses uh, for quite some time. So that's what that is. Now, Bruce, before we talk about the other one, do you want to turn that just slowly to mix these up really well? There we go. Okay, and I'll open it up. And you pick three, three um, individual. Number one. Okay. First one, Donna Featherstone, box 197 in Raymond, Alberta. Number two. Number two is from Mrs. Eileen Einmunger, and she is uh, from Pincher Creek. And the third one is uh, Mrs. Dixie, Dixie Platel from Vauxhall, Alberta. Well, congratulations, all three of you. We had a lot of a lot of response to this one. For now, we have a new one. If you are interested in um, sending in your answer to what you think the, the new one is, you uh, send it to the station, and we draw three correct names, as we've just done. You will win the Centennial uh, 100th Anniversary Plan Book, which Bruce is very familiar with, giving three of these away. And then uh, the final draw will be the first Wednesday in 1985, and we'll get a not, you will be able to win a 1913 Edison cylinder gramophone, which really works. This is courtesy Passages of Time. So send your answer to CFAC TV, Box 1120, Lethbridge T1J 4A4. Now, Bruce, let's have a good look at this new item that we have here. And for some people, it may ring a bell right project. A two-week trip down the South Saskatchewan from Lethbridge to Batoche will take place next spring. A special letter campaign is underway to raise funds for the group. Organizer Bruce Haig explains. People can go to any of four stores in town, the Eaton's, Sears, Woodward's, or Stubbs, pick up one of these letters here, uh, specially made for the centennial, showing the river route. Uh, these cost $2.50. They take them home. At their leisure, they put in their letter bring them back to any of the four stores where there'll be a, a deposit box there. And um, we will pick them up from time to time. And before we put them on the stern wheeler, they will get the official validation stamp saying that this packet was carried down the South Saskatchewan River by stern wheeler on the anniversary of the Battle of Batoche. Events today to mark our city's 100th birthday. The first issue of the Lethbridge Centennial Stamp and the official launching of the third stern wheeler's challenge. Alex Scott has more on both. It was just the ceremony this afternoon in the river bottom. Because the water levels are so low, the actual launch of the bigger boats heading for Batoche, Saskatchewan, will take place just west of Bow Island. In addition to 1985 being Lethbridge's centennial, it's also the 100th anniversary of the Riel Rebellion. And that, says Elliot Galt, is the reason for the trip to Batoche. The original Galt stern wheelers were requisitioned by the Canadian government when the Riel Re Re Rebellion broke out in order to haul troops and supplies down to put down the rebellion. 
And part of our group this year are going to reenact reenact that journey and go all the way to Batoche. Uh, the other part of the group, those of us that can't afford the time to take such a long trip, will be leaving tomorrow morning from this site here at the river as we do, as we have in the previous two years, and we're going down to Medicine Hat. The riverboat captains have a number of centennial pins from the city to spread the word about Lethbridge. As well, each boat will fly the city's centennial flag, a gift from the Lethbridge Centennial Society. The society's general manager, Don Dahlke, says Lethbridge's centennial stamp went on sale this morning. The stamp itself is actually part of the 10-stamp Fort series, but Dahlke says Ottawa's letting the city borrow it and they gave us the permission to use the Fort Hoop Up stamp, which we've now put into a special envelope with the original picture of the Fort Hoop Up and a story about Fort Hoop Up itself, so that we can utilize this, and it also has the uh, Lethbridge Centennial stamp, a special cancellation stamp. Dalkey says as many as 1,700 philatelists from Calgary South may be interested in the Centennial stamp. Alex Scott. News first. Mayor, who was on hand for a ceremony marking this weekend's Stern Wheeler Challenge. Replicas of the original boats will journey down the Old Man River to Medicine Hat. Four of the Stern Wheelers will continue on to Batoche, Saskatchewan, to take part in celebrations commemorating the Louis Riel Rebellion. Some of the Stern Wheelers will leave from Lethbridge early tomorrow, while those going to Saskatchewan are being trucked further downstream. The water level is so low that now we have to move out to Bow Island, uh, a place called Laidlaw Ranch to launch them. We'll be camping there uh, tonight and leaving for Medicine Hat at noon tomorrow. And the rest of the boats, there's three of them, going to Medicine Hat leaving here tomorrow at 8 o'clock.